What's up YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to be sharing my experience using Invisalign for crossbite and overbite correction. I am currently on my second tray. Initially, I was going to get ceramic braces, but the day that I went to the orthodontics to get my ceramic braces, I just, something just told me to ask them about the Invisalign again and see what my options would be. And turns out that my Invisalign um, was going to be a fraction of the price of my um, ceramic braces. I came in on the right day at the right time and ended up getting a really good price. But for this video, I will be sharing with you all my experience so far, what my teeth looked like before, what my issues were, and you know, what my experience has been so far. So after about four or five years, I decided to go ahead and get a consultation for getting braces. Once I decided that I was going to get Invisalign, that same day I was able to get my teeth scanned using Invisalign's iTero element scanning technology, um, which basically is the impressions that um, you all hear about where they scan your teeth and create 3D digital scans of your teeth. Once you have the 3D digital scans of your teeth, your orthodontist is able to go in and create a custom plan for your teeth for however many months you need to wear your aligners. Um, so once that 3D scan was created, my orthodontist sent that information to Invisalign and Invisalign created the actual aligners. Um, they sent those aligners to my dentist's office. They didn't send it to me at my home and I had to go back to my dentist's office to get my um, aligner, my first aligner tray put on. Um, the scan took about 20 minutes or so to do and um, then the actual process of getting my aligners made and sent back to me, that was the long wait. It took about a month. So I had to have a lot of patience because I really wanted to go ahead and start using um, the aligners to get my teeth back in order. But that did take a whole month and that's kind of like a downside. But if you think about it, your trays need to be made. You have I know I have like 36 trays to go. Once my trays were finally back at the orthodontist, I went back um, for my scheduled appointment. And basically when I got there, I had a dental assistant there who was helping my orthodontist. That person came in and she started to put like this blue stuff on my teeth. I have 18 teeth in my mouth that she had to put this blue stuff on and basically what that did was it just made my teeth really, really dry for her because the next thing she had to do was put the adhesive on my teeth for my attachments. Now, some people have attachments, some people don't have attachments, um, but basically the attachments are just these little pointy bumps that they put on your teeth and they help the Invisalign trays stay on your teeth. Some people have them, some people don't. I have about eight on the top and about nine on the bottom. And um, yeah, they just help you to have the trays sitting on your teeth perfectly. Um, and I needed that because of the fact that I have the crossbite and my, some of my teeth are kind of, you know, going whatever way they want to go, going every which way instead of up and down. So that's why I needed the attachments. So you may have attachments as well. With attachments, you don't feel them once you're wearing your trays. But before you have your trays in, you can definitely feel like spiky um, on your cheeks. This pointy, something pointy on your cheeks. But once you slide in the Invisalign, Everything is really smooth, so you can't feel them. Um, when you do eat, though, after you take your aligners out, of course, 
you have to just be very, very careful. Like I said, I have several attachments on my teeth. So it gets kind of difficult when I'm eating. I've already broken off two attachments on the back of my molars because of course my molars sit sideways. But <sighs> yes, but um, you do have to be very careful with your attachments because of course you can bite them off or something like that. But when you do, if you if that does happen, all you have to do is call your orthodontist and get an appointment for them to be put back on your teeth. Of course, my orthodontist just let me know it's not a big deal. And if they do come off, then I can come back and get them put on if I need to. After the dental assistant put the attachments on my teeth, um, the next thing she did was take out my first tray and she basically just put them in for me. Um, when she put the trays in, it fit very snug. Um, but I noticed from the very beginning that I had absolutely no pain whatsoever. And I was really like taken back by that or I was really surprised that I didn't have any pain whatsoever but I was expecting something and there was like absolutely no pain. There was a little bit of pressure on my fang tooth right here because it's like poking out so I could feel it like pushing on it um, and then also the gap that I have right here but other than these two places in particular there was no pain um, for me at least. So that process was really, really quick. I probably was at my orthodontist for, you know, no longer than one hour. Um, after she put on my tray, she basically just let me know that I would have to wear my aligners for at least 22 hours a day and I couldn't eat anything. I couldn't drink anything except for water while I was wearing my aligners. Um, that's something that I already knew going into it. So I wasn't really surprised about that. And I have been doing that, um, but I don't know how long that's gonna last. <laughs> of course, I've only had my aligners in for about 15 or 16 days now. So I don't know how much longer it will last, but you know, I have definitely cut back on all the things that I eat and drink throughout the day and I make sure I have my water. Um, okay. I have that Mulan song in my head. I've just finished watching the movie. So I keep thinking about reflections and the warrior song and all that stuff. Make sure y'all stay tuned for my review on all that Mulan stuff. Shameless plug. <laughs> so we talked about the attachments. We talked about the Invisalign kit. I'm going to show you all some before and after photos and um, video clips. I was taking a lot of video because at first, you know, of course I was excited to um, document all of this, but at first I was going to get those ceramic braces. So before I went to the dentist to get my ceramic braces, I kind of shot a video of me talking about, you know, about to go to the dentist and things like that. So I have that video and it really shows a lot of like what was going on in my mouth because I was all in the camera talking like this and all that stuff because I was so excited. But, you know, now I have my Invisalign. So I'll show you guys that video so you can really see all up in my mouth and all that. Um, and I'm really still in the beginning stages. Like I said, this is only my second tray so far. So, um, but one thing I have noticed, I am starting to see the progress happen fairly quickly. And, um, that is one thing that Invisalign let me know that sometimes some people's treatment, you know, you see a lot of results at the very beginning. And so that is what is going on. I don't know if you all saw that. Sorry. Um, but yeah, Invisalign did let me know that some people do see results a lot quicker. It basically just all depends on how your treatment is set up and what you are looking to get out of um, your teeth. So I'm really excited. It does look like I have a lot of progress to me, um, especially just here talking. I have 
other videos where I film myself talking like this and the first thing that I will always notice was my gap and it wasn't like a cute gap in the middle of my two front teeth because if I had something like that I probably would not have cared that much but because my gap was like on the side of my mouth and it kind of looked like a side part every time I looked in then the camera I would notice this gap and it was just so annoying to me <laughs> and it just like made me feel some type of way about myself and so I had to go ahead and figure it out but now that I have Invisalign I can definitely see changes I don't even notice it anymore and it's only the second tray um, so I can only imagine what it's going to look like after I finish all of my trays. Um, so, I don't know. The fact that you can hardly see them makes me feel more comfortable with the fact that I have to wear these for a year and a half. Because it's not like you can really see them. The only thing is I have to feel them in my mouth. Um, and like I said, I don't have any pain or anything like that. But I can definitely feel them in my mouth all the time. And I really only get relief when I'm eating. Um, other than that, they're in there and it gets kind of annoying. But I know that, you know, they're going to help me. So I just take it for what it is. It is what it is. Could be worse. Now, one thing that I did have to do before getting my Invisalign, my dentist recommended me to get my wisdom teeth removed, all four of my wisdom teeth. Some people, I watch their videos and they say that they did not have to get any wisdom teeth removed. So, you, some people do, some people don't. But in my case, because I'm guessing because I have a lot of crowding on the bottom, um, my dentist recommended me to get the wisdom teeth removed so that when my teeth start shifting and moving there will be a place for all my teeth to go but i did not realize that the pain of getting my wisdom teeth removed would last me for like <clears throat> two weeks long and that was pretty excruciating pain i had painkillers that i got from the dentist that i was actually taking that were horrible so I ended up stopped taking those prescriptions and I just like took some regular Excedrin that I got from the pharmacy. Um, so that's that. I'm pretty much glad that I did. Um, with my wisdom teeth removed, it kind of slimmed down my face, which I like. Um, but also, I can once I got my wisdom teeth removed, I could tell that my teeth were moving on their own. So those wisdom teeth were really kind of one of the main things that was causing the crowding going on on my bottom row. So getting them out was just, you know, really helpful. So I think that everything will kind of fall into place better with my wisdom teeth out. So that's something that you may want to bring up with your dentist. It all just depends on what your situation is. So this is what the actual aligners look like. And these were this, these were my very first aligners. So basically, if you look, you can see what my teeth look like in the back when I very, when I first started. Um my molar is like all the way over here and this second tooth is pushed in because I had those wisdom teeth that made there to be crowding right here so there was a lot of crowding going on and i am now working to get these teeth back in alignment and then in the very front right here you can see that this fang tooth is pushed out quite far um i don't know if you can tell looking at the tray but basically this is what the trays look like you have your bottom you have your top um the top of course have your two front teeth so that's how i know which one is top and bottom and then you have these marks these black marks 
that are just um, the Invisalign logo and then also which tray number you're wearing. So just in case you lose your bag here, you can always know which aligner you're currently wearing so you know which one comes next. Okay, so this is the Invisalign kit that was given to me during my appointment. So after she put the trays in and told me the rules and regulations and all that stuff, she gave me this Invisalign kit and basically it's a really cute bag. Look at it. It's like this nice bag with a little drawstring on it and stuff. It, it's really cute. I thought it was going to be more to it than it really was. So I was like surprised, but you know, it is what it is. It's 2020, things are, you know, underwhelming, to say the least. <laughs> um, but this is what the case looks like for the Invisalign kit. And basically, this is the inside of the kit. You have your little Invisalign book in it, this little branding book. And then you have your case and you have your cleaning crystals here. Um, underneath all of that, you have your youth and care booklet. This is the tray or the tray holder right here. You open it up. It looks like this. You pop off your trays. You put it right in here, close it up, and then you go eat. And then every once in a while, you can use these cleaning crystals to clean your trays i have not used it yet my trays haven't gotten that dirty to the point where i feel like i need to use cleaning crystals to soak my invisalign trays in um but in another video i will share with you all my whole cleaning routine that i do for my invisalign which is pretty extensive so that's why i'm going to do it in another video the main thing that you have to remember about this Invisalign kit is this holder here. You want to make sure that this is always with you. If possible, this needs to become like your best friend when it comes to these Invisalign trays because if you're out or if you like are trying to eat something or whatever and you pop out your trays and you put them on a napkin, it's really easy to just grab up all your stuff and throw your trays away by accident i almost did that and it like kind of shook me for a little bit but um so yeah make sure you keep this little holder here and put your invisalign trays in here um when you're eating because you don't want to mistakenly throw your invisalign away um so yes this will become your best friend when you have invisalign um, also another thing to mention since it's sitting right here on my desk, um, at the very beginning when I was on my very first tray, I did have to go and get, um, this little dental wax is what it is. This is usually for regular ceramic braces or the braces with the wire, um, that's what this is usually for and you can tell because it doesn't really stick the way you would think it would need to. It doesn't have anything to stick to. Um, but basically all you would do is you would just take a big piece of this, like maybe this whole piece, and kind of wrap it around your whole tooth. Um, and then get it on the edge and make sure you um, get it in the place where you're having the irritation the most. But because it needs something to hold on to, you kind of have to wrap it around your whole tooth. So far, I really, really love my aligners. I'm so glad that I got Invisalign. I'm so glad that I was able to get Invisalign, first of all, um, over my ceramic. Just because I know that if I had the ceramic, they would be, you know, cutting my lips up, cutting my gums up. And it would just, I mean, I wasn't really worried about the fact that it would look like I had braces on. Um, I was actually really excited to get them. But now that I have the actual Invisalign, I like these so much better. Um, I don't feel any, like, things scratching my gums or anything like that, which I've heard other people 
um, have said that it scratches their gums. The only thing that I've experienced as far as pain, like I told you guys, was when my tongue was scraping up against the side of my bottom row aligners. And of course, seeing my Invisalign trays, now you can kind of see why, because my tooth was so close to my actual tongue. Um, so that's the only pain that I have experienced so far. Um, other than that, I do feel tingling and numbness on my gums. Um, and I just like try to massage them like this. I'm always feeling like I have to chew on something or grind my teeth together because, which I don't recommend you doing, but you know, sometimes if you're like me, you grind your teeth for some reason. I don't know. Um, but that is something that happens. So my, my jaw and my gums feel kind of numb sometimes. So I just try to massage them. And basically that's just because your teeth are moving around and that's what happens. Just like when you're a baby and you're teething and your gums feel like you need to massage them. That's the only thing that I've experienced. It is kind of annoying to have that feeling, but of course, I just know that, you know, it's working. If it if I didn't have any numbness, I would think that my Invisaligns were not working. And that would be an even bigger problem for me. So that's that. Um, I have noticed that I do get <clears throat> really thirsty when I'm wearing my Invisalign. And um, water, drinking water, is just something that I need to do more of anyway. So I'm glad that, you know, I have this reason to drink more and more water but when I first noticed that it was I was getting like headaches and I was getting kind of nauseous and I did not realize what was going on but really I was just extremely thirsty and <laughs> I needed to drink some water and not just like a cup of water but I carry this around with me all day and I can pretty much drink this whole thing by the end of the morning by noon um normally i have at least two or three of these a day just because i get that's how thirsty i get i'm always like but yes i do get thirsty um and it was causing me to have like headaches and stomach aches but i feel better now that i drink water even more and i think like it's helping me with my skin and stuff like that so that's cool um but yeah that is another thing that I did experience. And then, let me see. So, I said numbness, no real pain. I do get kind of thirsty. Um, let me see. Oh, also, when I take my Invisalign trays out, I do notice that my teeth are sore. My teeth feel kind of sore, so when I go in to eat, um, I try not to eat things that are, that I would need to bite and it'd be hard. Like for example, crab legs or something like that, where you sometimes use your mouth to break the crab leg, something hard like that, I would not eat. Or I would just like use a little mallet or whatever. But, um, I try not to eat super hard things like chips and things like that. Especially because I also have these, um, attachments. So, I don't want anything to like chip the attachment or anything like that unnecessarily. So, <clears throat> when I came home, the first day I ate like a fish sandwich. And on the first bite, I literally could feel the attachment break off in my mouth. Just because normally when you chew, you do chew in the back. And that's where I have most of the attachments at. So, I knew that it was going to be a done deal for these attachments. That's why I'm not in a big rush to go get them again. Because I know that they're just going to break off. Because of the way that my molars kind of sit to the side. So, that is another thing that I experienced. Um, but I'm going to do a whole other video about all the things that you can and can't eat when you're wearing Invisalign. So, stay tuned for that. So that's pretty much it. I can't really think of anything else. I told you guys all about, oh, <laughs> one more thing which you guys can probably tell. Invisalign has definitely changed the way I talk. I talk with the lisp now. 
Um, and I, I mean, it is what it is. I'm wearing plastic in my mouth and I can, I can tell that my tongue doesn't just easily just smooth past the edges of the Invisalign trays, but I definitely talk with the lisp now and so far it hasn't gotten any better. Um, my teeth, I can feel that they're shifting. Um, and like I said, I don't scrape my teeth up to the edge. Of, I mean, I don't scrape my tongue on the edge of my um, tray here at the bottom anymore. But my speech has not really gotten any better when it comes to the lisp. So I just try to really work past that and enunciate a little bit more. But even still, I talk like I can you know I talk like I have a lisp and that's fine it is what it is um especially the fact that I do these YouTube videos it kind of is weird because I'm talking but I would much rather like be straightening my teeth and have a lisp than have a gap that really bothers me and makes me feel uncomfortable so I'll just go ahead and take the lisp yeah that's pretty much it um, I talked about the attachments, I talked about the trays, I talked about the Invisalign kit, I talked about some of the things that I eat, and all of that stuff. I'm on my second tray, and on, I think like Tuesday coming up, I'll be on my third tray. I have six trays in my possession right now, and after, once I get finished with the sixth tray, then I have another appointment. And I'll be going back to my orthodontist to get another set of trays. Um, and that's just, it's what it is. Um, so I will make sure to keep you guys updated on the progress. And how my teeth are looking. Uh, you know, they're starting to look a lot better. Um, so that's why I wanted to go ahead and do this video before <laughs> my teeth totally change all together but like I said I do have those before videos and photos so I will make sure to put those in here if I haven't done so already um yeah and that's about it um don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you put, push the bell notification. That way, whenever I drop another Invisalign video, you all will be right there to get it. If you have any questions, feel free to put the questions down in the comment section below or send me a DM if you want your questions to not be seen by anybody or whatever. You can also follow me on Instagram at that biz model. And... That's about it. I am going to be doing the how I clean my Invisalign and what I eat and do's and don'ts and all that other stuff too. So make sure you stay tuned and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Peace out.